We can answer the big one, so I'm uh, Derry. I, I'm kind of trying to decide all week what way I'm, I'm swaying here. I think I'm, I'm, I'm swaying towards our man, to be honest with you. But I don't know what you're, you're thinking. Yeah. What do you, what do you reckon? Well, look, I, I, I think Arma, Arma, obviously, I was sort of doing a piece this week actually for the Gaelic Life on, on the final from a tactical yeah. perspective. I was looking at the final from a tactical perspective, and I was thinking of the different, the different types of of attacks that that Derry liked to to do. You know, the sort of cluster attack where they cluster yeah. body in the forty five and try and create and isolate those one v one situations wide, and you know, very much like McCluskey's goal against uh, Monaghan in the semi final yeah. where they isolate them against McManus. I think Armagh might be a wee bit switched on to that now, and you know, to defend a, a cluster kick out, a lot of teams go zonal. So I'm sort of thinking to myself, do you do what Louth did in RD that day, uh, who were probably actually the one team who gave them a real, real stiff test in the national league? You know, from a defensive point of view, Louth played very, very narrow. Uh, you know, they they defended two thirds of the pitch very, very well. Yeah. They conceded some kickouts. You know, they didn't. They took away Derry's energy lines. They were very, very good that day, you know, and, and only a mistake late on in the game. Now, albeit the game was, was played in a, on, a, on a sort of a tighter pitch, heavier pitch in RD, which which maybe suited Lowe that day. But they did certainly give a template and, and, and maybe a bit of direction in, in how to stop Derry. I don't think playing the man-to-man is, is of any use whatsoever because they'll create those 1v1 situations and they're very good at that sort of planting and driving and changing direction of their attack and, you know, and, and really manipulate 1v1 situation. And every every player, there's, there's a lot of players in the Derry team are very comfortable at taking their man on yeah. in a 1v1 situation. And then there's obviously a lot of coaching has gone on in training, you know, to create those situations and train and replicate those situations, you know, and, and it gives them a great advantage in that respect. So man-to-man may not be the way forward. Obviously, Armagh are going to have to look at matchups and certain key players. Obviously, you know, Shane McGuigan is the standout one. You know, where, where, where they'll match up at him. Will they try and negate Glass's influence and, and match up at him? That's my biggest fear for Armagh. It's the middle of the field. Um, you know, obviously the players that they've had missing. Uh, Shane McPartland has come in and has has played really, really well. Scored a brilliant goal against Darren. Uh, you know, big, strong, physical guy. Uh, they lost um, Creeley in the semi-final or in the Ulster semi-final. Looked like an injury just before half time. Stefan Campbell has played middle of the field there. I'm not sure he'll be the answer on Sunday. But certainly from a defensive point of view, I think Armagh will need to be playing a very deep line zonal defensive system early. And then when they do get the opportunities and uh, put the ball in, put the ball in and test Oren Lynch, test yeah. Mary's full back line. The young McAvoy, who was in the under-20 panel and uh, was taken off the under-20 panel himself and Lachlan Murray weren't allowed to play against Down, which which again in itself was was a bit of a disgrace, particularly the Lachlan Murray thing where he was brought on for 30 seconds. But uh, McAvoy full back, young boy, you know, could you possibly you know, really, really test his mettle? Because I'm sure that Chrissy McCaig will probably pick up Rain O'Neill but yeah. Rain O'Neill uh, will Rain O'Neill will probably float uh, and come out the field and drift inside. So it'll be it'll be a very interesting it'll be a very interesting final. I'm really looking forward to it from a tactical point of view to see what way both teams set up, how Armagh cope with with Derry's offensive organisation, as I would probably call it. Most teams are, are really organised defensively, but you know Derry seem to be really really organised offensively this year and have asked different questions of different teams, and unfortunately those teams have failed to come up with the answers. So it will be interesting to see how Armagh approaches this. Yeah, because I suppose we, we kind of know from looking at Derry, like we know what they're going to do. I know obviously the offensive structures they've set up, but Armagh would have seen this. So it's more, I'd be interested to see what Armagh do here. As you said, other teams uh, couldn't, um, couldn't come up with any answers there. So McGeady, Donahue, uh, Kieran McKeever is there, Nate, um, the uh, former centre back. Uh, it'd be interesting, yeah, because yeah, like we know Derry's blueprint here. We know what exactly what they're going to do. So yeah, like Armagh, will they go ultra defensive? They, they, you know, I, I know there was a tweet obviously with Armagh and Kevin. You, I saw Yana. Uh, there's no difference between Armagh and between this year and last year. I think. Um, what's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, well, I, I don't think, like, we had a chat about this today, actually, in school. Like, I actually don't think there is an awful lot of difference in the way they're setting up defensively. I just feel where Armagh have probably faltered this year is, you know, at times their offensive game. But you've got to remember the personnel they've been missing too, Andy. You know, they've had to move different personnel. They've had to, they've had to maybe 
Rob Peter to feed Paul at different times, you know, with the, with the problems they've had in the middle of the field, the injuries they've had up front, um, you know, key injuries to Andrew Murnan, and Rian O'Neill, yeah. you know, those those type of injuries as well. They were they were in a, in a Division One where they were extremely unlucky to be relegated. You know, very very yeah. unlucky. They lost to Kerry by a point. They lost to to go away by a point. You know, in the last the last like very very late in both those games. Those are two teams that we're talking about now as as real proper All Ireland contenders, and yet Armagh are going toe to toe with them. So it'll be very very interesting to see, as you say, how they approach it against Down in the semi final end. Uh, they did the first three balls. They went route one. It was very, very clear they were going to put Downs full back in under pressure. Okay. Uh, Downs his heel during the National League has been high balls into the goalkeeper. A um, couple of major mistakes, you know, goalkeeping errors probably cost down promotion this year. And Arma obviously identified that, and they put serious duress on 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 the keeper that day and got joy out of it, you know, and and probably got two to three goals. Off that now, Rain O'Neill's goal was obviously a beautiful goal. The game was stretched at that stage, but you know they will probably look at Owen Lynch, who made him a couple of major errors against Monaghan as well. And this is the thing about a goalkeeper: if Owen Lynch is out the field so much during the game, and uh, there can be a little bit of physical fatigue there as well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what do you, what do you, what do you say? What do you say here? Who are you go for? I say I'm going to go Derry by Derry by two. Derry by two. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say Armagh by two. It'd be interesting. That, like we're just we, obviously we're not gonna get into too much detail here, but as as you know, a man being part of management teams, obviously the whole uh, social media kind of buzz with Rory and uh, his private life. Like uh, in terms of how do you think that the Derry camp are gonna handle that? Do you think obviously players though do they stay all they stay off social media? They probably do at this stage, do they? What do you think? I think that uh, look to be on social media now at that level is obviously you know it's it's dangerous you know <laughs> it is it is you can feed um, into your game you know 